Hi, uh, I'm Johnny Robinson and I work here in Balcast Timber. I've worked here for the past uh, six years. I initially came in as a graduate um, and then have uh, gradually worked my way up to becoming an engineer and then supervisor and then most recently um, last year was promoted to secondary process manager. Um, the role involves overseeing everything from when the log um, has been after the primary process, after it's coming in the log form to now it's a nice square thing and uh, we take it from that square post or log or whatever and we add value to the to the product as best we can. Um, some of the processes that we do in here um, are resawing, cross cutting, um, bundling, those types of operations. Um, it's been very exciting. Um, whenever I initially started out in, this, in my career, um, I used to work in aerospace and I've sort of, well, it was quite of a, a red tape industry and there was quite a lot of regulations. So coming into Sawmill was just a real bright change for me. There's so much freedom and possibility for innovation and moving forward within this industry. Um, there's been so much opportunity to develop the business and you're given an awful lot of freedom um, in terms of innovation and creating new ideas and ways to do things. Uh, one of the major projects that we've been looking at is um, moving into sort of an industry 4.0 um, company and we've been looking at our processes and looking to remove those sort of more manual aspects um, to a more modern automated type of environment. So those are some of the key highlights for me as well as that working with our IT team in terms of developing different systems and being more innovative and more creative in the terms of the way we do things. So that's just a little bit about what we do. The way that I'm involved primarily in those processes in terms of um, I will look at the feasibility, of, do a feasibility study on those, on doing those operations and making those changes and upgrades to the line. So that will initially take a look at the KPIs, perhaps downtime, the total cost of running that production line and then seeing if there's a, the feasibility and the resources available to do those, to make those and implement those changes. Um, we'll also then, once if we get the go ahead for that, we'll then oversee the process as it happens and we might, that might involve working with an external company or it might involve working with our own internal maintenance team, uh, PLC, um, folk fitters, electricians, that type of thing. And we will also, once the process is up and going, it's then the continual monitoring of that line and making sure that it's being run efficiently, safely and effectively by whatever operator who we have to train to get in that process.